So another well-represented part of our pottery collection is the Iron Age in Britain. Um, and we have a good selection of local pottery produced by the locals. And you have an example here. Um, you will see that in terms of the quality of the clay, it's probably a bit coarser with a lot more inclusions, materials inside the clay. And then we have quite a wide range of um, Roman um, pottery, both lo locally produced and uh, imported. So we have a locally produced one, often it's to do with large bowls for consuming food um, or closed vessels, so something like a jar, in order to store um, organic materials. We also have um, these kind of graters, um, they're called motarium, um, and they have actually little stones pressed into the inside and they're really acting as a grater as you would use one um, nowadays. From, uh, from Rome, or not from Rome, from Gaul mostly, um, so modern day France region, we have what's called terra sigillata. Um, it's a really well made, very popular, beautifully looking um, Roman uh, period material um, and pots styles. Um, often highly decorated, but can be plain as well. Mainly bowls, open vessels, because they were made by mould and so they were for really easy to produce. The mould itself was hard to make um, and you needed kind of a specialist for that. But um, the actual then production of the pottery was, it was mass production basically. But it was highly valued um, here in, in Britain. So another part of our teaching collection is the medieval and post-medieval period. And we have quite a large uh, number of examples. In addition, we also have a good collection of Islamic um, pottery, roughly from the same time period. But as you can see, what characterizes the medieval period and also the post-medieval period is that we're no longer using color necessarily on the paint on the outside of the pot, but we're using glazes. Um, and glazes can be made of different kinds of materials, um, lead, uh, salt, for example, tin, um, and they are meant to kind of waterproof the, the vessel. The clays themselves are often quite coarse and often they're called earthenwares as opposed to um, slightly finer products. But what is really beautiful is they have quite intricate designs often, um, they have a very shiny, beautiful outside um, decoration. Same for post medieval, though perhaps slightly less um, shiny on the outside. Another part of our teaching collection is the collection of clay pipes um, for tobacco. Um, as you know, tobacco is relatively new to Britain. Um, it arrived um, in the late 16th century, initially a luxury product. It was only for the upper classes, but then sort of by the uh, late 17th century, it became a, a very widespread, very popular um, item to, to smoke. And from that point onwards, you see a, a massive clay production in, in Britain. Um, in the 18th century, it was a bit of a dip because um, people moved more towards using tobacco as snuff rather than for um, smoking. But then in the 19th century, it picked up again and um, we have a large number of pipes from that time period in our collection. So you can see, of course, the actual bowl still and then the, the stem of the, the pipe itself. And then, uh, not so much part of our teaching collection, but something you hopefully will be doing when you are uh, studying with us is to go and work with a potter um, where you have a little workshop and we will show you how to make pottery. And there are main sort of easy techniques that we will uh, get students to try. The first one is by pinching. So you take a ball of a clay and you press your thumb in in order to create a little bowl in your hand. And the other one is um, coiling a pot. So that's where you're creating little sausages of clay and you build them up in order to make your, your pot. And then last but not least, um, hopefully you'll have a chance to have a go also on the potter's wheel. I dare say first attempts are never that good and m most of us will be producing a, an ashtray rather than anything more elegant, but it's certainly worth, uh, worth the effort and great fun.